Hey everyone, Talking Tommy coming at you from Halifax, West Yorkshire, as per usual. And today is the 21st and in fact the final of my UK Over the Counter Blend Reviews series. And today's tobacco is Capstan Ready Rubbed, which I know quite a few people have been asking. I'm wondering about this one for quite a while, so sorry for taking so long to do this one. Um, but yeah, that's just the way it is sometimes. So yeah, capstan ready rubbed. I have already preloaded some into my Mark Twain cob, which I will light up in a moment. But first of all, I'll show you the tobacco itself. So as you can see, yeah, ready rubbed, kind of coarse, but that's just how ready rubbed comes these days. Um, a little bit dry in the pouch perhaps, I mean, moisture content's not too bad actually. Um, yeah, it's not too dry. Let's say just about right really, for moisture content. Um, there again, if you missed it, is the pouch art capstan ready rubbed navy cut. Uh, contents straight Virginia, nothing more to it than that. No flavourings, no overleaf used, as far as I'm aware. From a pouch, smells kind of citrusy, kind of sweet and figgy. Yeah, smells very much like a Virginia blend should. So, without further ado, to bear with me on the matches. So that's the false slide. And on to the true light. So the cut is ready rubbed. Contents, Virginia, flavouring, none that I'm aware of. Struggling to hold the light to it. Hmm. Now, this could be because I've smoked um, both the gold and the blue varieties of flake, which are superb. But I could be a bit biased here um, and say that this is nothing like those whatsoever. In terms of quality or flavour, very dissimilar. Try one more time to keep this lit.
Now I try and smoke this gently because it is bitey. It is very bitey I find. not unlike gold block it doesn't bite me as bad as gold block but considering I'm sipping this gently and I'm still getting tingles just on the tip just just uh, slight tingles it seems to burn quite fast like I'm halfway down already if you can see that which is quite bizarre and there's uh, there's not a lot of flavour to it I must say Ooh, burns a bit on the retro hail as well. Oh, yeah. Not much flavour. Tastes kind of acrid. Well, that could be because it's burning too fast. So it's a very one dimensional smoke, I would say. Which is in no way to say that straight Virginias are one dimensional, because I've tried many straight Virginias and most of them are really good. This one, though. There's just nothing to it. There's just absolutely nothing to it, really. I mean, it's not horrible. It's smokable. You know, it's quite easy to smoke. It's not burning my tongue too badly. You know, it's not as bad as, say, Gold Bork or Clan. But you don't really get anything out of it. No, it's just, it's kind of steamy, just kind of hot smoke. That's all you really get. Room note, just kind of nondescript smoke kind of smell. It's a nondescript kind of tobacco -y smell. Yeah, it's quite disappointing really, considering how great the flakes are. There's no sort of uh, There's no sort of saving grace for it, to be quite honest with you. There's nothing so bad as to say this is terrible, like say three nuns. Um, but there's nothing to say, oh, this is really good, like say St. Bruno. It's just very kind of meh.
Yeah, and it's one of the more expensive over the counter blends over here. Which leads me to believe that Imperial Tobacco are just purely and simply trading off the name Capstan because it's a well known name. But there's absolutely no comparison to the flake ones. No comparison whatsoever. Mm. Doesn't really improve as you get further down the ball either. Yeah, I think with the variety of tobacco on the market these days, there's no real need to uh, to buy something like Capstan Ready Run. It's so middle of the road. Well, it's not quite middle of the road. It's more on the bad scale than on the good scale, if I'm honest. Yeah, quite flavourless, quite flat, quite one dimensional. The bowl is really hot now. Not that I'm complaining because it's really cold at the moment in Halifax, so. Not that that's much uh, incentive to um, persevere with this blend, really. Yeah. Quite boring. Quite uh, nondescript, really. I would say if you want to smoke caps, then don't bother buying over the counter. Just. Uh, or do yourself the flake versions, either from a German seller or from um, one of the US sellers, something like that. But I really wouldn't say Caps and Ready Rubbed is worth trying, to be quite honest with you. You're not missing out on anything. I'm gonna ditch that now. So to give it my full score, I would give it a one for pack and cut. A 0.5 for lightability, moisture content, because although quite dry in the pouch, it did take a while to hold a proper flame. Flavour, beard no, zero, there was very little flavour or aroma to it. Body strength balance, 0.5, because it, um, it just, I don't know, there's something off with it. It's not particularly strong, but the... Um, the body of it, the flavouring and everything, just it's kind of all over the place, you know. It's um, very flat, not much substance to it whatsoever. Not a very satisfying smoke. Overall enjoyment, zero, didn't really enjoy that. Um, tongue still tingling a little bit. Um, so yeah, that is the overall score, 2 out of 5 for Capstan Ready Rub, which was quite disappointing. Um, I was hoping it would, uh, and it's an ambitious hope, but I was hoping it would be like the flake version just rubbed out, but uh, unfortunately not. 
So, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you uh, for the likes, the subscribes, the comments, all that. This has been quite a fun series to do. Um, what I've concluded from the series is that some of the other counter blends are worth buying. I would say St. Bruno, Erin Morflake, either of the players, uh, Whiskey or the Navy Flake, um, Mellow Virginia, Ogden's Walnut Flake. So those definitely worth a look. Um, some of the others, you know, give them a go. You might like them, you might not. But then some of the others still well clear, I would say. Three Nuns, Clown, Gold Block, Blue Ridge, um, Capstan Ready Rubbed. I would say you can spend your money um, elsewhere really, I would suggest. Getting something much nicer, get a boutique blend. Um, rather than an over-the-counter one in that situation. But these, as always, have always been just my findings. So... Thank you once again for watching. Um, I will come up with another series in the meantime. I'm not sure which yet. I might hold a little um, giveaway. I don't know. Because um, I was going to do one for 500. Um, but then I didn't realise when I passed 500. Which was quite a while ago by the looks of it. So... Um, I'll probably just wait now till I've got more sums. So yeah, um, but I might run a poll as well for what series to review next. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you all giving more videos very soon. Take it easy, and uh, hope you're all having a good 2016 so far. Thanks for watching. Cheers.